play something new. Sweet Adeline. Ever heard of it, Bill? What? You ought to be up on all them new songs. <laughs> Mira, la rotundo. Whoa. You better be practicing that funeral march. <laughs> I wonder how they knowed we was coming. Looks just about your size, Bill. Caramba, as we rob that bank, I like to kill that sheriff. One for one good friend of mine, one for myself. The Lord frowns on bloodshed, my boy. I hope that sheriff ain't got Bob spotted. He ain't got him spotted. Bob would never send for us to come on if he didn't have that sheriff fool. Come on, let's get out of here. de la Cruz, de la Cuna, tiene ya ya, de todo el tiempo. about who I drink with. Well, I ain't. Else I wouldn't have invited you. 
<laughs> Who are you, anyway? Grand. Grand's the name, Rio. I'm the fellow that owns the river. <laughs> <laughs> Smart, ain't you? Yeah. Hey, you've been around this town now for a couple of days. You ain't a puncher and you ain't a miner. What are you doing around here? Me? Yeah. I'm a bank examiner. <laughs> Say, don't get fresh with me. You answer when you're spoken to by the civil authority. Civil authority, huh? That ain't you, is it? <laughs> Come on, Tom, Alita, give us a song. Give us that song you sang for me last night. Which one? You know, the one you sang it for me this morning, too. Early. I don't remember. Go on, you do. It goes something like this. La 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 la. Oh, la, I, la, la, la. I see, darling. You mean me and Professor Tisa Central Door? Sure, that's I right. I shall do it for you. Oh, baby. Howdy. About another minute, you'd have been too late to do business, partner. I always aim to be on time, stranger. the prospect, strangers? Looks like pay dirt. Yeah, strike. Well. Will you need the gold scales, Joe? Yes, no, better. No, you don't need no scales, partner. Just hand over the gold. Start reaching for heaven, stranger, or you're headed straight for hell. Come on, you get back in there and hand it over. Um, 
Caramba. Got him straight through the pump. You're a liar. You missed him a full inch. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Get out here. What's that street? Come on, you hand it over. Get in that safe. Get the door. de la cruz, tostada, ruego. them horses. Yeah. Nary a sign of them. I guess they must have stampeded in a storm. Well, you can deal them out. You won't find them again. Storm was sure a lifesaver for us, though. Yeah. Yeah. What's the matter, Bob? Why, he got fleas? Yeah. And they got lead overcoats on them. Huh? Yeah. They winged me in that left arm when we were getting out of town. Let's have a look at them. Hey, they did, didn't they? Yeah. Must have been that same rat that got Jose. And him with the money bags. Well, that's our luck. There's one sack we got back. And we can use it, too, boy. Uh, be careful of that water there, Bob. Don't worry about that, none. We'll hit water at Terrapin Tanks. Yeah. And we'll rest up a day and make for the railroad. Hey, go easy on that. You ain't dressing a steer, you know. Who says I ain't? to give that horse face sheriff a belly full of that. <laughs>
Yeah. When you pour a little water on my shoulder, it burns right smart. Sure. Uh. Uh, that's good. How's you feeling now, old partner? Don't waste no sympathy on me, Bill. I ain't cashing in my chip just yet. Once there was three wise hombres rode out of Jerusalem. We ain't riding, we're walking. Yeah? I said wise. Wasn't speaking of us. You two birds don't know your scriptures. Now, once upon a time, the king of the Jews... Eh? I never know them Jews had a king. Sure is hot. Hot? Hey, who told you? Let's have a drink. Oh. Take a good one, old timer. The tanks is just over the rise there. It's a good thing they are. We just about made it. How's the shoulder? Uh, I think the blood poison is set in, Bob. Nah, you're wrong, old timer. When we get the tanks, we'll give it a good wash and a fresh bandage, and you'll feel fine. Sure, you'll be clicking your heels together like a two year old. Yeah. Well, let's get going then. Something too. Wait a minute. That there's a human voice. You fellas wait here. I'll go see what's up. Now be careful, son. It might be a trap. I wonder what that was. Bob, there's a covered wagon down here. I reckon we better go on over. It might be trouble. What you got, Bob? Nothing. Oh, no. Nothing.
Nothing, huh? I seen her first. Mm-hmm. See them tracks? His horse has been licking that alkali mud and it got him loco. And I'll bet the darn fools went chasing after him. I don't reckon she's got no man now, Bob. Them tracks is two days old. I seen her first. You all right? I reckon all Bob wire and me wants is to wall her in that water hole. That's all. I ain't interested in no women. Not now, I ain't. Lucky for you, I'm crippled. Come on up to the hole, Bob, when you're thirsty. a bone. It ain't so, Bill. It ain't so. Terrapin tanks has always got water. Let's dig. No use, barbed wire. Some crazy tenor put dynamite in it. Huh. And it cracked the granite floor. And the waters run dry. She'll stay dry from now until I get religion. Looks like this outfit's through. Through nothing. We've been in tougher places than this. Bob's still got a little water left. Oh. You better pick yourself out of a grave with a good view towards hell. Ma'am, I'm coming right back. Here's good news for you, Bob. Take a look. Yeah, I know all about it. She told me. It's tough, boys, but that ain't nothing. We got something else to worry about right now that's worse. Nothing could be worse. Yes, it could. We're gonna have another one squawking for water around here pretty soon. What do you mean? A baby. What? Baby? Sure. Right soon, too, I reckon. Hmm. That poor gal's in a pretty terrible fix, boys. And I can't do nothing for her. She's crying and praying and asking for help. Hmm. 
Bob, why you ought to know something about such cases? Wasn't you married to a half-breed gal down in the Colorado somewheres? Uh, you're right, Bob. When that squaw of mine had them two twins, I was doing a five-year stretch in Yuma. How about you, Bill? Don't ask me. I don't know nothing about no babies. Hmm. If it was a horse or a cow, I might tell you something. What's the difference? How do I know? I ain't never had nothing to do with no human babies. Well, come on. We got to do something to help her. Come on, barbed wire. You go on down, Bill. See what you can do, will you? Ma'am. Oh, ma'am. Yes, sir. Them tanks is dry on the horn toad's belly. Well, you needn't rub it in. Once in San Bernardo, I hear a sky pilot preaching that the way of the transgressor is hard. Would I be doggone if I ever thought it'd be half as hard as this? Ah, stop that religious moaning. Them preachers is worse than what we are. No, they ain't. The Bible ain't never wrong, Bob. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take with thee thy rod, and thou shalt smite the rock, and the water shalt come out of it. Sit down. Your whiskers ain't long enough for that. What's he look like, Bill? Man, he's some stud. Yeah. <laughs> How's the gal? <laughs> she ain't gonna last long. She wants to see us. All of us together. Three good men will do what we can, ma'am. And you? I'll help. Won't you? Too. 
I want. All of you. To be my babies. Godfathers. Take him to his daddy in, in New Jerusalem. Frank Edwards. You'll find him at the bank. He's cashier. That's him. Oh. Hold him up. I... I want to look at him. You won't be all alone when your mama leaves you. You'll be in New Jerusalem for Christmas with your daddy and, and your three godfathers. Take it away. There's a little fellow. <laughs> you know, that was a terrible thing we just done. Why? Lying to that poor gal the way we did. What do you mean, lying? We promised to take that kid back to New Jerusalem, didn't we? I wasn't lying. All right, go on back and throw your head in the noose if you want to. But not me. What about the kid? Well, what about the kid? Yeah. Hey! You seen her first. <laughs> what, what am I going to do with it? See how far you can throw it. <laughs> you little critter, ain't he? Huh? Sure he is. What do we name him? Make much difference, does it? You gotta have a name for his grave when he dies. He ain't gonna die. Not while I'm alive, it ain't. <laughs> well, uh, what do you say we baptize him? What for? I never was. Uh, that's why he ought to be. <laughs> Them's my sentiments, too. <laughs> well, what do we call him? That's easy. Yeah? Sure, his name's Frank Edwards. His ma said so. You heard her. His dad's a fellow you two shot at the bank. 
I missed him. You're a liar. You got him through the pump. It was me that missed him. Missed him over a full inch. Yeah, you both ought to be ashamed to look the kid in the face. Well, let's baptize him. How do you do it? All right. Now I'll tell you, Bill. Uh, you hold him. Now, you know, you read from the Bible. And then you take and pour some water on his head. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What a kid. Use sand. Sand? You can't use sand. It ain't regular. If so, they use it at funerals. I see him. I hereby name you after your three godfathers. Strong for that neat face. Here. William. Robert. Thomas. Junior. Buried with him in baptism, I hereby baptize you the party of the first part whereunto the... <laughs> you know, I just don't seem to recollect the whole shebang, little fella. But that'll carry you just as far. Amen. Hey! Merry Christmas, boys. We've got something. And I sure wish it was a gallon of water. <laughs> and out were <of> snakes. <laughs> what you got? A strike. Can cow. Gee, Hossifat. Three of them. This would get us through to the railroad. Wait a minute. You can't use that. It's for the baby. Baby ain't nothing. This means our getaway. I said them was for the baby. Yeah, let's see you get them. Uh, yeah. You're wrong. You ain't gonna take no milk from no baby. Now bet down the two of you. All right, you crazy fools. We'll split them. There's yours. This here's for me. Wait a minute. Here's something that tells us all about the grooming of the baby. By Doc Meacher. Well, let's see what he has to say. There's too much care cannot be exercised in performing the baby's toiletty. Huh? What in blazes is a toiletty? <laughs> Don't you know what a toiletty is? No. That store let his bath. <laughs> now, see here. We ain't got much water. But if Doc Meacham prescribed it, it's got to be. Oh, you yeah, don't. You don't use none of this water. Wait a minute. You don't need no water. It says here you can use olive oil. If you can't get olive oil, you can use clean, pure lard or grease. Hey, you are. Get out. This baby's going through life slippery enough with us for its godfathers. Hey. I reckon she thought he was going to be a cowpuncher. <laughs> hey, Barb. That's for his backside. Huh? <laughs> Here you are. Olive oil. Uh, well, young feller, here's where you get your first toilette. Bill, you're some middle wife. <laughs> Here, 
Reckon I ought to put some on his head? No. He's hairy as a coyote now. <laughs> Come here, young fella. Hey, Bill. That rump of his will sit right well in the saddle when he gets growed up. <laughs> He's a funny little louse. Yeah. <laughs> right game, though, ain't he? Well, his mother was game, weren't she? Yes. Sure was. I hope he don't grow up to be a big as fool as his old man. Figure him drawing a gun on us, Bill. You old jackass. Give me a hat. So I can shade the little fella. Come on, fellas, let's drift out of here. If we're going to live, we better. New Jerusalem's our closest water. It's 40 miles. And we got to hike right back. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Well, it's our only chance for water. If you hike back there, you won't need no water. They'll string you up the minute you hit the town. Well, what else are we going to do? Well, come on. I'll trade along till we get near town. Then I'm heading south. See? Hey, give me one of them packs, Bill. No, I'm all right, Bob. Feeling great. I'll sort of take it easy tomorrow. you fool. If you want to kill yourself, go ahead. Well, let's get going. I'm thirsty. Hey, Bill. What the hell is a godfather? Well, Bob Wire says it's a sort of a reserve father. You know, to teach the kid to denounce the devil with all of his works and pumps. Works and pumps? What's them? Well, robbing banks and shooting up deputy sheriff, et cetera, et cetera. Well, all I got to say is that us three is a sweet-scented bunch of godfathers. I done a heap of ordinary things in my day, but I ain't stealing no water from the little fella. You ain't stealing at all time or it's coming to you. Uh, sure it is. Go ahead. No use wasting water on me. You two birds hit the trail. We ain't hitting it without you. Uh, no more back talk. No use getting sloppy about it. 
I'm bedding down right here. Uh, <laughs> I'd kiss you goodbye, little fella, if it wasn't for them two critters making fun of me. Go ahead, Bob Wire. No, I'd give him the itch. <laughs> So long, partners. Don't let my godson die between two thieves. That ought to keep the coyotes away. Yeah. How do you feel now, Bill? I'm all right. There's a few drops of water left in here, Bill. You'd better put some of it on your tongue. It'll keep you from choking. Tomorrow. Suit yourself. Well, I reckon I'll turn in. Good night. Good night. Well, little fella. This is the last of the milk. I'm sure glad you gave your can to him. Ain't you?
see you, fella. He's gone. The both of them's gone. The best pals I ever had. And all on account of you, you dirty little brat. I ought to wring your neck for you. Shut up. Ah, what the hell? What do you want, a drink? That's all there is left. And if you spill a drop, I'll kill you.
No use, little fella. I can't go no further without water. I just can't make it. I reckon this is the finish. Come on, little fella. We gotta drift fast if we're gonna make it. Sisters, before we start the worship of our Father on this Christmas day, I wish to extend the appreciation of the congregation to one who traveled high up into the cold Sierras to bring back this beautiful tree which so symbolizes the true spirit of Christmas and the story of the birth of Jesus. Brother Hitchcock, will you please stand up while we all thank you? The choir will now sing that good old Christmas anthem, Holy Night, and the congregation will join in the second verse.
Our Heavenly Father, who art up above, I ask thee to look down upon us and bless every soul in this tiny flock.